Because I think there's five steps, right? Sure. We talked about this. Yeah. That we think that there's five steps through disappointment because we sure. try to just put that out there and try to help people. Yeah. We can talk about disappointment all day. But yeah. I try when I feel disappointed in something, put my efforts towards something that's really positive. Uh-huh. So I start moving my body or things that I can do that doesn't make me wallow in them. You know, like I, there's some people I will not call when I'm feeling disappointed because I have to look at myself, take a moment and go, why am I feeling that disappointment? Is it all on that person or how did I contribute to feeling mm, disappointment yes. in that? Because then there's some people that I'll call and they'll be like, oh, you poor thing. It's all the other person's fault. And then I'm like not taking any accountability because I have that person being like, you right. You know what I mean? Where and I'm that's like, not correct. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. So because there's, you know, and then I don't know about you, but. Sometimes it's not what we talk about this a lot. It's not what they say. It's what I hear. Mm-hmm. And then I hear something totally different and I feel disappointed. Like when the it's- story you're telling yourself is completely different than what probably is. And also the story that that other person is telling themselves. So, right. And yeah. then I shut down yeah. and then there, and then there's no room for communication. Mm-hmm. So I take a step back. And then what I do a lot is I will call that person that says, Hey, let's go do something active or I'll call you and talk about something sure. else sure. or at, like see just or talk about something entirely different as opposed to harping on that just yeah. piece of disappointment. Right. I don't know how do you, what do you do to get your mind in a better place? Well, generally when I'm when I get disappointed, it's because something just didn't ha- go the way I wanted it to, or it didn't pan out in the right way, you know. Um, and then you just. I don't know. You just got to rationalize at first. I, I mean, I, I do. I have to think it through and be like, okay, well, how did that, how did that work out? <laughs> or how did that happen? And then from there, you just gonna go, am I being, am I doing the most? Am I just being emotional about it? Or is it, it just is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from there, you gotta just move on because life still is happening and you either, Maybe you're in a position to make, you know, lemonade out of lemons Mm -hmm. or you're in a position to go, well, actually, it wasn't that bad because then this happened because you never know. I mean, certain things that um, didn't happen the way you wanted to do all of a sudden will get another scenario that actually turned out to be all right or even better Mm -hmm. or, you know, and and so for me, I always like to uh, be pleasantly surprised now. Instead of projecting what I need it to be or what it have to be so that that kind of isn't there. I don't have any expectations of something, you know, I can I have a loose plan of like, okay, I see possibly this happening or whatever. But if, if it just kind of goes awry, then then it's okay also. You yeah. Know? But that's that's learning and living and experiencing and just getting older with life, honestly. Yeah. <laughs>